Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome if you're watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, trouble is brewing in the river rafting sector in St. Anne as the number of illegal rafters continues to balloon. It's feared that if regulators do not intervene, it could spell trouble for the tourism industry, which is on the rebound from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The situation is also proving to be a nightmare for legitimate businesses. The matter was raised at a press conference on the weekend. Kirk Wright has the details. It's a battle between the regulated versus unregulated rafters along the White River in St. Anne. And from all indications, the illegal operators are winning. They have come to me and, and, and told me that if I pay them a bigger commission, they would carry more people here. In other words, they are blackmailing me with the illegal people. So, you know, I, I, I stand firm. Robert Marsh is the CEO of Calypso Rafting Company Limited. It's not the first time he has taken regulators at the Ministry of Tourism to task over the illicit activities. He told the press conference that he has exhausted all channels for intervention. Six months ago, I wrote to them, every one of them, including the minister, including every member of the board, right? And I have not heard one, one, one response from any one of them. The rafters acknowledged the risk of being unregulated. Among the concerns, no insurance. Some do not have the requisite safety gear and the mad rush to get clients. But for them, the US dollar earnings make it worth it. I think I'm loose right now. That it look loose. So whoever is going to do do until the authority come in and just say it's straight. So you are one of so are you personally are you do you have a license to do what you do? No, but I, I do I do the um the tour board license. I do the class, I got a certificate ticket and I register with the company. We got a, we got a term board where we run, I got registered. I mean I register captain and the all these guys are all registered. Mm -hmm. all registered. So what kind of fees do you pay? Because I know with, the, no, okay. with a structured company, they pay fees. Do you no, pay any fee at no. all? But for Mr. Marsh? If you look at the jet ski business, that business used to go on and a free for all until they had three fatal accidents within a week. Instead of fixing the problem by regulating the business, they locked down the jet ski business. So the good suffered for the bad. And I see, we, I see where rafting is going to end up in serious, serious trouble. We also put the issue to Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett recently. The point is that the, the TPD and the agencies of government have the responsibility to deal with monitoring, um, you know, the rafting. And the River Rafting um, Act is there, which gives support to those who have legitimate and legal rights. And, um, you know, it's hard sometimes to ask a minister for an opinion on matters that are legal and are to be executed in the appropriate way. We've repeatedly tried to get a comment from the regulators to no avail. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.